Greetings and salivations, everyone! I'm Krista, and welcome to C-Rad, and welcome to this week's This is the Art video. And this week, I'm featuring an artist from Etsy who makes these amazing silicon dolls, so stay tuned. And if you love our videos and don't want to miss seeing us, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. C-Rad! Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Guys, it's this week's This is the Art video, and if you're new to my channel, This is the Art is just a weekly feature where I kind of highlight independent artists and creators just so you guys can know what type of awesome fan art is out there. So, yeah, this week I have an item from the Etsy shop Creatures in My Bag, and what she makes, guys, is silicone dolls, and she makes two kinds, and they are both Baby Yoda inspired. So I chose from the two, I chose the smaller one, mostly because it was a pretty much brand new item in her shop not that long ago, and I was really excited to kind of get this guy and give him a little review. And after, it took about a month, which wasn't bad at all, considering it's a handmade item, but he is finally here. I'm going to show him to you guys, give him a little review, and show you just a little tiny change that I made to him on my own, not to the art itself, guys, but yeah, just stay tuned, you'll understand. But yeah, let's check this little guy out. Now, I don't do international shops that often, guys. I tend to stick with shops here in the U.S., but the art on this was so amazing, and the pictures I saw of her bigger dolls from people who had gotten them, I was like, yeah, I gotta check the small guy out. So her shop is located in Spain. So taking a month for her to make them and ship them was not bad at all but he came all boxed up and on the box he had this really cute little tag on him this little one needs your protection how cute is that and it's got her little creatures in my bag logo on it so that was wrapped around the box on him and then inside when you opened it up there was this envelope in this weird white little vial and I was like okay what's that for <laughs> but the little note that is inside of the envelope explains exactly what that vial is for inside the envelope is the care instructions for your little one and it's really great that these are included because since it's a silicone doll and the first silicone doll i've ever owned it's nice to know how to take care of them but just in short it is not a toy guys it's a piece of art and should be treated as such it's made of platinum silicone which is i guess very durable but it needs special cleaning care so all of the care instructions on how to use soapy water and just water and to be careful with the painted parts and after you wash them if he's sticky that's what this little thing is for. You take a little makeup brush and you just kind of brush it on him and give him a light powdering so he's not really overly sticky. But, alright guys, I know. Look at the cute little bag he comes in. I know you're dying to see him. Let's get him out so you can see this incredible doll. Alright, are you ready guys? Just, uh, my mind was blown when I opened it up and saw him. But look at this dude. Look at him. Look at the details on his face, guys. How super cute and adorable is he? He's so tiny, but the details are just so amazing. I love it. Now he comes with this robe, which is really cute, but guys, it doesn't have an opening on the bottom for his feeties because yes he's got feeties and I'm gonna take this off so I can actually show you the details on his body because it's not just his face guys he is amazing from head to toe but I also had the leftover robe from when I made my shoulder sitter into a faux nui mo you know grogu emo the faux nui mo if you missed that video guys right there but I have his robe left over, and I was like, oh, I wonder if it would fit this dude. And guys, it does. So I'm going to change him out of his little robe that comes with him and put him in the shoulder sitter's robe, just because, guys, I think it looks totally fantastic on him. But let's get him out of this, show you his body, and then I'll put that robe on him for you. Now, he is very delicate, so if you are going to remove this robe from him, do so with great care so that you don't pull his arms off. But guys, 
Look at this. <laughs> little Nakey Baby Yoda. We love the little Nakey Baby Yodas here, don't we, guys? But look at the details on him. He's so cute from the side. He's got the little poogey belly. And guys, look at his feeties. They are so super cute. And look, guys, he's got a little butt. <laughs> so yeah he is really really cute like I said from head to toe I didn't point out but guys he's got hair he's got little fuzzy peachy hair on the top of his head and he is just awesome all right let me get him into his other robe and then we'll talk a little bit more about this dude and I'm gonna show you something else really cool that he does so when putting the other robe on him, again, guys, just be very, very careful because his body is full 100% silicon and those arms just, they pull really easy. So just very gently. But here he is in the shoulder sitter robe. Guys, nothing against the quality of the robe that he came in. I just like this one a lot better because now his feeties can stick out and be seen. I might actually open the stitching on the bottom of the robe that he came came in but yeah I think this one actually fits him perfectly and I think he looks adorable how super cute and awesome is he guys I just I love you dude but I forgot to point out one of the really awesome and cute details on him you ready my mouth moves <laughs> <laughs> his mouth opens and closes of course you gotta kind of push it on the chin and make him talk but how super cute ah I love it <laughs> <laughs> and she had a picture on her Etsy shop where he actually had his finger in his mouth and looked all cute but his arms don't have any armature in them again they're just all silicon so yeah if you were to actually put his finger in his mouth you'd actually have to hold it there to keep it in there but guys I am so in love with this I've only had him for a couple days and I couldn't wait to make the video but look he's so cute he is so adorable and Fisher and Spud love him to death so they've become a trio so we've got Fisher and Spud who was another one of my this is the art reviews yeah definitely and now we got this guy and this guy's name his name is Foo. Don't even get me started on how Foo came about and got stuck. But yeah, that's his name, Foo. Conrad pretty much in short wanted to name him something like Fugle, and I was like, no, that's silly. But yeah, we shortened it to Foo, and now it's kind of stuck at Foo. So until I come up with a better name for him, his little nickname is Foo, and I love him and adore him. So again, just a review, this little dude was made by Anna from Creatures in My Bag on Etsy and cost on him guys, he's one of the little higher end ones, he is $187.29 plus shipping so yeah it's gonna bring them up to over two hundred dollars but guys if you like collecting artwork and supporting Etsy shop owners he is really 100% worth every penny and then some he's just a oh, sweet little baby Thank you. And I cannot say enough good things about this. The quality, the craftsmanship. Guys, look at the details on his nails. Can you guys see how awesome they are? And the details on his little feet. His nails are painted there. And it even has the little back nail. And he is one thick little dude. Quality wise, top notch. And yeah, definitely on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. This one, guys, exceeds the totally rad. Just the face is so lifelike, and the quality of the art is just so amazing. And he definitely has a forever home here with us at Sea Rad. And yeah, you'll probably be seeing a lot of him just because he's actually like travel size. He might kind of go places with me and do things. We'll see if we get out in the future to do that. But guys, what do you think? What do you think of this little dude here? Who wants one? I know. Save up those pennies if you want one because, guys, 
100% plus worth it. So I had mentioned she also does the full-size doll. Guys, here's a picture of him. He's pretty amazing too, and he is definitely on my wish list. Cost on him is $380 plus shipping. So yeah, he's a little bit on that higher end, and I'm going to have to save up my pennies for that one. But you know, with the Hot Toys one coming out, that was $400. And the Mattel Creations one, that was the pre-order for next year. Guys, I've got to kind of save a little bit and maybe get this little dude in the future. But yeah, he looks looks pretty amazing too and you know if the quality on him is half as good as the quality on this guy and I'm sure it's just as good if not better I mean his arms move he's got feet he's got the armature in his body he's like a full-size little Grogu doll yeah definitely worth it if you want to add him to your collection but yeah saving those pennies. <laughs> but in the meantime, guys, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad The Child and Mandalorian things in the future, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say. Right, little foo? We'll see you later.